Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks and I am an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today I am going to teach you how to use the pass-through slot on the Glowforge Pro. This machine is amazing. However, the cut space is 11 inches by 19 and a half inches as is. The Glowforge Pro has some amazing features like the pass-through slots, which allow you to cut sizes up to 19 and a half inches by pretty much unlimited lengths. Today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to do this, how to use your cut file in the app, the Glowforge app, and how easy it is to move your materials from one set of cuts to the next. Now that our Glowforge is open, there are two things that we need to remove in order to use the pass-through slot. So we're going to drop down our little door right here. And then this piece right here, it says Glowforge Front Pro Shield. We're going to just unscrew these right here and this comes off, it's really nice that these stay on the shield so you don't lose those. So put this over to the side and then we're going to remove the back shield just by moving this here. And then there's a back shield with the almost exact same screws. The placement is a little bit different and they are labeled so that you don't get them confused when you go to put it back, but it comes off just as easily. And we'll put this to the side. Now we can go ahead and move our laser head back, close this and close the lid. And now we are ready to go ahead and put our material in our Glowforge. The material that we're going to be using for our project today is MDF board. This is like draft board. And this particular piece is a pretty standard size that you would use in the Glowforge. However, I am going to be using it to show you the pass through method. What we want to do is just insert this in the rear pass-through slot. You gently push this in until you're about an inch to two inches from the front of the crumb tray. The left to right placement of your material doesn't matter so much because the software, the technology with the Glowforge does an amazing job of lining everything up. So we're going to leave it as is and then we can go ahead and turn the Glowforge on and jump over to our computer and look at the cut file that we're going to be using and how we get the, the pass-through option to work. Open your favorite web browser and type in app.glowforge.com. I'm already signed in, so it automatically brings up some of the cut files that I have used before. I wanna go ahead and press create and upload from file. Then I will locate the file I'm going to be using today and press upload. This is an SVG file. It processes pretty quickly. Now that the file has imported, we need to come to the top where this little menu button is, and then we're gonna come down to where it says Pro Pass-Through, and we want to toggle that on. Now when we do that, you can see it adds a little bit of extra space up here, and now we can size this file. We'll move it over here and size it down so that it fits on our material. And I'm just gonna pull it down pretty far toward the bottom here. Another way that you can size it if you have exact dimensions in mind that you want is just by selecting your file. And then if this doesn't pop up, it will look like this right here. So you would just select that and then you can, you can change the height and width dimensions there. Now that that's set, I just need to come up here where it says unknown. If I were using a proof grade material, a Glowforge proof grade material, then it would read the QR code that's on the material and automatically select the correct setting. However, I am using material that is not from Glowforge, so I'll select the material setting by coming up and typing in draft board. Medium draft board is something that I use a lot, so it is automatically at the top. I'll press select. And then I want to change this from engrave to cut just by selecting and pressing cut. Everything is ready, it looks great. So now I can push the ready button in the top right hand corner. The Glowforge is scanning and preparing for print. In just a moment, our button will start flashing and we can push it, but it is very important not to move your material at this point. If you move it, then it will have to autofocus again. It will have to scan again and just make sure that everything is perfect. So do not touch your material at this point. 
Now our Glowforge is flashing, so we can go ahead and push the button. Okay, now you can follow the prompts in the Glowforge app. It says it is taking pictures. Do not move your material or open the lid. These pictures will help align the next part of your print and this will take about a minute. Okay, now it is finished with that and it says to shift the material forward. So you can read the prompt. It says pull your material about eight inches toward you. When you're done, the top of your print should be at least three inches from the front door. You can open the lid to reposition your material if needed. So I'm just gonna open the lid here and shift this forward so that the bottom of my print comes out the front pass-through slot. And then I move it down so that the top of the print is about three inches from the front of the crumb tray. Now I'm ready to close the lid. Back over in the Glowforge app, you can choose to continue or align it manually. I have found that the Glowforge software does a fantastic job aligning it, so I'm just going to press continue and let it do all of the work. Again, do not move your material or open the lid. It is aligning. This does take a few minutes, so be patient. It will work though. Okay, now it wants us to confirm that we are ready to continue. I do wanna point out, if you zoom in, this does not look like it is aligned at all. Um, it's a little bit scary the first time that you do it, but it actually is aligned. Um, it will come out perfectly, although it doesn't look like it will, so just trust the process. But I'm ready to go ahead and press continue. And now we're ready to go ahead and press our flashing teal button. Now we can go ahead and remove our cut. And you can see that it did an absolutely beautiful job. So you can see how easy it is to use the pass-through with the Glowforge Pro. I hope that you found this video to be very helpful and beneficial and that you have great success using that pass-through. If you like this video, you'll like the other content that we have here at Oak and Lamb. We love to dabble in lots of different craft genres. Glowforge is one of them. We also love Cricut, sublimation, woodworking, sewing, quilting, home decor, basically anything crafty and we'll try it. If you want to be a part of what we have here at Oak and Lamb, click the link below and find out what we're about. We do offer member benefits like files that can be used with your Glowforge and die cut machines. We have an amazing community of crafters that have built great relationships and help each other craft. So join today and find out what we can do together. If you are not a subscriber here at the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you can be notified anytime that we're live or post new content. Let us know if you have any questions about this project or any other Glowforge projects down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here another day for another video.